Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the next video in the battle at Fair Fairy. For this week's models, I'm going to be painting up Vandis Hammerhand's own personal guard, the Hammer Guard. So stay tuned to see how I got on painting these guys up. As Vandis readied his weapon, he was supported by three of the most hardened veterans in all of his ear. Known as the Hammer Guard, these were the personal bodyguard of Vandis Hammerhand. If he went to battle, they were all going to battle. So I started off with a good base colour of Retributor Armour. It kind of made sense to start off with this since like 90% of the model is this colour gold. So I wanted to get a good layer of that down, maybe two if you need it. It's kind of thick, you don't really need to put too much um, layers of Retributor Armour down. And then on the under armour parts, which is usually behind the knees, uh, certain parts of under the arms, uh, I painted Abaddon black. Uh, to get those Under Armour parts painted up. And then I went with Reichland Flesh Shade over all the gold, well pretty much over the black as well, but all over everything so far. It's a good shade colour to get a nice metal sheen on them. You don't want it to be too dark for the Hammers of Sigmar. Well, that's what I was going for anyway. And um, So Reichland Flesh Shade really is really good for that, so you can kind of put it all over. And then we went to some of the smaller details, which was the little kind of insignia on his chest. And it wasn't his one, but it was the other Retributor that I had on his shoulder pad, which was Cantor Blue, uh, to stick with the Hammers of Sigmar colour. And then with the handle of the weapon, and I'm going to call it like the top knot, I think, that comes out of their head. And I went with my fist on red. It's, it's a solid red colour that you can't really go wrong with. So then I started on the silver parts, which was Lead Belcher. It's your go to colour for your base for silver metals. Um, so that was like the top of the hammer, uh, the little trinkets on his knees, any other little trinkets that are all over the model, which there is quite a few. So you kind of want to take your time and pick them out. Now this is where these guys stick out a little bit more because, sorry, these are the personal guard of Vandis Hammerhand. So I wanted to add like a little bit of a royal colour into it. So any kind of roby parts or cloth parts that stick out, I wanted them to do in purple and especially on one, one of their shoulder pads. So with that I went with Lick Purple, it's an old colour. I didn't have any of the newer paints to go over with that so I had to kind of go back to the old paint box. Um, and then any of the scrolls on them I went over with uh, Ushakti Bone. I think I had to put like two solid base colours down to get that over. So once all the base colours were down like that, I switched to Nullin Oil, which I put over uh, pretty much all of uh, the silver parts, which is the weapon, all the trinkets, the purple and the blue as well to really darken it down. And then with Agrax Earthshade, I went over all the red parts and over all the parchment as well like that. Um, to kind of give them that little bit more of a dirtier look instead of going darker that you would do with Null and Oil. And once that was done, I switched to Pink Horror, which was going to be highlighting the purple part. I was really unsure about this. I hadn't painted, I'm pretty sure I hadn't painted anything purple before. So I was kind of stuck at what colour I had to highlight with. I didn't have any other brighter purples to go to. So I tried Pink Horror and it looked pretty nice, just little bits of it on the edges. It really makes it stick out a good bit. So I was really happy how that went. I really liked it. Um, I think in between then I went over any of the blue parts, um, Cantor Blue, uh, but I left the recesses out. I, I wanted the kind of the big parts to stick out a little bit more. And then with Stormhole Silver then, which is my go-to color for highlighting any silver, uh, that was over all the kind of silver parts and then some small parts of the armor just the most prominent parts to make it stick out because if you go over too much like if you go over all the armor highlight every bit of it it just kind of looks like a too much silver in it. it over takes the gold a little bit i think so i kind of went over just the most prominent parts with stormhole silver and then i layered up the most prominent parts with lick purple again over all the purple parts as well so then the final few parts of the model <clears throat> I went over the red parts with Evil Sun Scarlet. It's a really good uh, highlight to go over the combination of Mephisto on red and Agrax Earthshade. It really makes the red pop out a little bit or a good bit and it's, it just looks really good once it's finished. And then the final part to highlight up was the robe or the scroll parts again, which I went over back again with Ag or not Agrax Earthshade, Ushapti Bone. I stuck with these really simple parts. So it was Ushapti Bone, Agrax Earthshade, Ushapti Bone. It's simple and it works. And then you have the final model. Now I think, looking back now, the purple does work. It really makes them stick out from a normal, um, 
Hammers of Sigmar model. So I was really, really happy. I was really nervous about it because I thought it was going to completely overshadow it. It was going, it was too much of a contrast compared to the rest of the model. But how it turned out, especially with that pink horror highlight, I really like it. I thought it turned out really well. And as you can see, then we have the other models. So these don't have as much purple on them. They have one shoulder pad as well, and um, but they don't have that kind of that roby part wrapped around the weapon. But they do have a few other little parts as well. And then the base, of course, was done with Mechanica Standard Grey, Agrax Earthshade over that, and then a dry brush with Dawnstone with the technical paint. Which I had to look because I couldn't remember. Uh, Astro Granite underneath all that before you start doing any colours. Uh, put a good layer of Astro Granite underneath that. And I was really happy how these turned out. As I said before, I was really worried about the purple. I wasn't too sure how it was going to turn out. Especially since I had to go back to the old paint box and get an old paint out. Um, but it was still good. So I was really happy with that. So Vandas' uh, personal guard is ready. They are here for the fight. They are waiting for Corgus Cull's army to pull up and get ready for the, the very start of the fight for uh, the Battle of Fair Farig. So if you guys like this paint tutorial, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the purple. I was unsure, but I was really happy with it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next painting video.